So we have a winner for the championship of cosplay. Hello. Hello. So would you like to introduce yourself and who you actually are cosplaying yes. as? Yes. So I'm Robin. I go by Rose Magpie online. Rose like the flower, magpie like the bird that likes shiny things because I'm ADHD <laughs> so I love shiny things. Um, and I am dressed as Bennett from Genshin Impact. That looks really amazing. I've heard that you did all the voice pieces for all your um, acting on stage. Is that true? Yes, all apart from the very last voice, which was Razor. And that's because in order to make my performance as understandable as possible for the people that haven't played the game, um, I sent it off to friends that had never played the game. I was like, hey, does this make sense when I finish the audio? And they were like, I don't get this one last bit because the voices were quite similar. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'll just pop on Fiverr. And someone did an impression of him for one sentence. So it literally cost me like four quid. And then it was done and I stuck that on the end and all of a sudden it made so much more sense. But I did the other two voices that you heard on stage because, hi, I'm Bennett, leader of Benny's Adventure Team. <laughs> How long does it actually take you to do all the voice lines? Um, all of the voice lines, each line was recorded about 20 times, um, just continuously to try and get the thing, different inflections and stuff, because I needed to think about how I was going to be acting on stage, like one part where I'm standing up, I wanted to have a uh, kind of sound in it as I was standing up and time that right. Um, it probably took me about a good solid afternoon to record it all, but I lost my voice by the end of the afternoon. It was, it was gone. <laughs> it sounds really amazing to actually put so much effort into all the motions. So would you like to tell me actually about your cosplay? How much did you... Uh, if you made it, yes. how much time did you actually spend making it? Oh, well the sword, I know the amount of time it took. It took about 130 hours. Not oh, you made the sword research. yourself? Yeah, and I coded it and we did all the LED wiring. I say we, it's me, but you know, with all the LED wiring and stuff. And someone helped talk me through how to do it so I could write it myself, which was a huge help for me. Um, and then the actual costume. I did the shorts months ago because I thought, oh, I've got loads of time before the competition. I'll just take my time. So the shorts took me about a month. And then all of a sudden, it's the competition's next month. So I had to like do the rest in a month. But I wanted to make sure every single part was canon. So I've got like little details here. Every little thing, the belt buckle, all of it, no matter where you look and compare it to Bennett is going to be canonically accurate. So ah, that was my main goal. <laughs> do you have any tips for all the new cosplayers on how can they start and maybe save some money? Saving money on cosplay. Um, well, when I first started out, um, broke. I'm disabled cosplayer, so um, until I started earning money from this with like Patreon and things like that, it, it was bare minimum that I was doing. So what I actually did was I would go around charity shops and or thrift stores in America, things like that, and I would find things that were similar enough that I could tweak because I had no idea about sewing until like four or five years ago. So I would just literally tweak it how I could, or I'd go on eBay and scour that to try and find anything that would work. Um, and that's a good way to start. And also I've met a load of people that started out making props with cardboard. Um, it doesn't paint well, but it is a very good thing to start with. And then you can move up to foam and move up to more complicated materials. Like this is Sintra, which is kind of like things poster boards are made of and things like that. So it's the more you do, the better you'll get. The important thing is doing and finishing because that is what then learns. There's no accidents, it's battle damage. <laughs> I assume there's a lot of experimenting with all the materials as well? Yes, um, so obviously on a time limit, it was a bit of a nightmare. The sword was made in two weeks, um, about between eight to 12 hour days. Two days of that was just sanding alone. Um, and the thing that was struggling was the hardest was the LEDs because I'd never really done it before. So I had to do so much research and it just wouldn't stick in my head. Like the information was like, this is a lot to take in. I am far too autistic for this. Like, but I am really, I shaky hands as well. So soldering was a nightmare, but honestly, I've got autism, ADHD, essential tremor. If I can do it, you can do it. I was too terrified to start LEDs. But once I actually got started and I was copying what they were doing in the YouTube videos rather than just watching, easy to pick up them. Like, it takes a while, but once it clicks, it clicks and you've then got it, you know? It's good to hear because I would like to try it as well. Honestly, give it a go. <laughs> Start with stationary lights and then move up to animations because at the end of the day, that is just coding. The hardest part is getting the solder right. <laughs> So we also talked behind the camera about how much you've actually spent on the whole cosplay. Yes, um, so I wouldn't know exactly, but I'm going to say it's in the realm of about 500 um, on various fabrics and stuff like that. And that is a lot of the time is because it was so last minute for some things. I was like, oh, I need this fabric for the gloves. 
I don't have any left. Um, I'm going to have to next day delivery some. So a lot of that went on postage. Um, and getting the thick sheets of Sintra for the two sides of the sword here um, was about 50 quid for a giant sheet of it because it had to be big enough to fit the full length of the sword so there was no join lines. So that was probably the things that put me out the most is that um, and stuff. Yeah, basically, I'd say just under 500 quid for everything. So <laughs> sounds really bad. Yeah. Well, thank you so much and congratulations on your first play. Would you like to actually show off your costume to the camera? Yes, of course. Thank you so much. Thank you.